Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can use Tesla Assistant in the Tesla app to see if you have certain upgrades in your Tesla vehicle or not. I will say I've done quite a bit of testing now with this assistant feature, and it doesn't know absolutely everything about my car. Like I asked if it had passenger lumbar support or a wireless charger for my cell phone, things like that. It wasn't quite sure on those things, but I'm going to go over a list of things that you might want to check out for your particular vehicle. And I'm sure this is a feature that will probably improve over time. So we're going to launch the Tesla app in our phone. And then for the Tesla vehicle that you want to know the information for, we're going to scroll down and click on where it says service. So here towards the bottom, find where it says service and click on that. And then to utilize the Tesla AI assistant, what we can do is click here where it says ask a question. And I have five different questions that I'm going to run through as an example in this video, which are some of the more important things that people wonder about their Tesla vehicle if they've gotten the upgrades or not. So things like FSD hardware four versus hardware three, the older Intel Atom computer versus the AMD Ryzen heat pump versus no heat pump. 5G LTE versus not having 5G connection in your vehicle, things like having a lithium ion 12 volt battery versus the older lead acid batteries. And again, any question that you have about your Tesla vehicle, you can try to ask it in this area to see if it knows the answer. So the first thing I'm going to open up here, does my Tesla have hardware three self-driving? And then we'll click enter there. And it'll take just a little bit of time for it to think about the answer. And then we can see the summary. So it says, based on your vehicle information, your Tesla is equipped with the full self-driving computer four, which is more advanced than hardware three. So it knew that information and it was able to provide it in a relatively timely fashion. The next one I'm gonna ask is if my Tesla has the newer AMD Ryzen versus the older Intel Atom. Of course, you'd rather have the more capable AMD Ryzen. Does my Tesla have an AMD Ryzen? And again, it'll take it just a little bit of time to think about the answer, looking up that information for your particular vehicle. And then we get the summary. Yes, your vehicle is equipped with AMD Ryzen infotainment processor. Another one that Tesla switched over to a number of years ago. So if you've bought in your Tesla in more recent years, you almost certainly have a heat pump. But whether or not your Tesla has a heat pump, does my Tesla have a heat pump? And the summary here says, yes, your vehicle is equipped with a heat pump cabin heating system. Heat pumps are more energy efficient than traditional resistive heating systems. Another change that Tesla made a number of years ago was going to a lithium ion 12 volt battery versus the older lead acid batteries. So the lithium ion 12 volt should last the life of the car. Whereas if you have a lead acid 12 volt battery, you might need to switch that out probably at some point. If you're going to be keeping your Tesla for a number of years, does my Tesla have a lead acid 12 volt battery? And it says, no, my vehicle is equipped with a lithium ion low voltage battery, not a lead acid battery. So I have the newer lithium ion 12 volt battery in my Tesla vehicle. And then one other thing that I'm going to ask is whether my Tesla has 5G or 4G LTE connection. This is actually something that's coming, I believe, to the new Model Y that's just coming out at this time. And it's actually not even guaranteed that you're going to have that 5G LTE connection necessarily if you're getting the new Model Y early on. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, we can ask our assistant here. Does my Tesla have 5G connection? And since my Model Y is a couple of years old, I shouldn't have this connection. So it should be able to give me that answer. And it says, based on your vehicle information, your Tesla is equipped with two, three, and 4G modem capabilities. 5G connectivity is not available on my vehicle. Again, this is going to be for the newer Model Y that is coming out. It might have this capability based on the information that we've seen. So something that you might be interested in checking out if you're getting that newer Model Y. But that's going to round out this video. So again, guys, if you're interested in learning anything in particular about your Tesla vehicle, you can always ask the Tesla assistant to see if it knows the answer and the information about your particular Tesla vehicle. Again, this is going to be under the service tab area in the Tesla app for your vehicle. Just go down to where it says ask a question, and then you can throw any question you want at the Tesla AI assistant to see if it knows the answer or not. But that'll wrap up this quick tutorial. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel for more Tesla content in the future.